Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about limited edition Blu-rays and why I think limited edition Blu-rays are ultimately bad for the fans. Now, recently, my buddy Rambo Raff, as well as OCP Communications, both did videos talking about their disdain for uh, limited edition Blu-rays. And I don't want to single out any one company here. I think this is very much a, it's a business decision. It's a shrewd, maybe a little unscrupulous business decision, but it's a business decision in all of these companies at the end of the day, they are businesses. Um, but what these companies play on, first and foremost, is our sense of nostalgia. And I'm very nostalgic. I think most horror fans are very nostalgic. And I mean, we can go into this very long um, sort of uh, dissertation about why that is. Uh, I'll maybe save that for another video. But these companies know that especially horror fans are very nostalgic. And the streets of nostalgia are... <laughs> they're the, the streets of nostalgia are paved in gold these companies know this um the sort of retro nostalgia uh, that everybody is really into these days I actually got into a conversation with one of my buddies on facebook not long ago about retro nostalgia and how i felt he felt that retro nostalgia was kind of played out i felt like it's not it's not played out just yet because a lot of the movies and uh, Stranger Things, for instance, it very much plays on the retro nostalgia of the 80s, the music, the look, everything. But it's also about really strong storytelling and compelling storytelling and that's really what sets that series off now when we get to the point where these shows and these movies are just playing on retro nostalgia alone then yes now it's watered down it needs to you know it just needs to go away like any other trend you know it's had its it, it's ran its course and now it needs to go away but these companies know nostalgia <laughs> equals cash so if i was a company uh, wanting to release Blu-rays. I would look at what uh, are there any cult movies out there that have a large following that have not been released on Blu-ray. I'd go after that title. I'd license the title. I'd buy it outright. I'd do whatever I could to get my hands on that title. Now what a limited edition means from a company's point of view is that they only produce enough copies of the Blu-ray that they are certain will sell out. 3,000, 5,000, depending on the film, depending on the fan following for it, they're only going to make enough copies that they're sure, with beyond a shadow of a doubt, every one of those copies will sell. Um, and of course, if a company is only making three to five thousand copies, that's a lot cheaper than making 10, 15, 20,000 copies. So it's cheaper for the company to produce this amount of Blu rays. What a limited edition also means is that whatever you think the price of that Blu ray is going to be, go ahead and double it. Your $20, $25 Blu ray is going to be a 40, 45, maybe $50 Blu-ray, depending on if they put any extras into it or, or, or whatnot. So from a company point of view, we're saving money by not producing as many copies of this Blu-ray, while at the same time, we're going to charge you double <laughs> for it. It's a huge cash grab. It's going to make a company a lot of money in a very, very short amount of time. And what the companies want us to focus on isn't the price. They want us to focus on the fact that it's limited edition. Limited edition, which means when this pre-order goes live, have your butt on our website immediately because it's going to sell out quick. 
So if I'm a fan of whatever the movie is that's coming out, I've never been able to see it on Blu-ray. I love the film, though. I want it badly. I'm thinking only about that pre-order date and when the pre-orders go live on the website. I'm not necessarily thinking about the price so much, or I'm not letting the price dominate my desire for the disc. So the company goes, pre-order goes live at 3 o'clock in the morning. And in 15 minutes, they're all sold out. Oh, well, you weren't awake at 3 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning? Sorry, you're out of luck. But hey, guess what? Plenty of, it's sold out. You can go on eBay now and pay, and pay double for what we're what we were initially charging you double for. So now you've got the scalpers who probably aren't even fans of the movie that's being sold on Blu-ray in a limited edition for double what it should be priced. They were up at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, they marked their, their schedules. They set their alarms. They bought multiple copies and now they're on eBay for you know, that $40, $45, $50 Blu-ray is now $70, $75, So the company that's released these Blu-rays has benefited. They've made a lot of money in a very short period of time. The scalpers who were lucky enough to be there for the pre-order have benefited because they've got their copies on eBay now for twice the already inflated price that they bought them. And us, the fans, are screwed. We're screwed. Because A, we don't have the money to pay $40, $45, $50 for a Blu-ray, or we weren't um, on our game, so to speak, when that pre-order went live on either the company's website or some third-party distribution website. And if you weren't on said company's social media feed at 3 o'clock in the morning, you just didn't see it. Us as the fan, we're either going to have to pay an even more outrageously infra inf inflated price for that Blu-ray or we're back at square one and we're just like well I'll stick with either the old <laughs> worn out VHS the bootleg DVD or just nothing so we the fans are ultimately the ones who don't benefit from these limited edition runs of movies and again not singling out any companies you guys know who the companies are that do these limited edition runs and what you have to be also what you have to be vigilant about is companies track records and are there any extras on the disc uh, are there enough extras to warrant the price uh, what about a new transfer is this a company that said you know their last release was a brand new 4K restoration, but it looked like a VHS rip. Um, those are things you have to keep in mind. Or how, you know, how much money did the company put into the disc? Put into the production of the disc, the licensing of the movie, etc., etc., versus how much it is and versus how much the limited quantity is. And a lot of these companies will not tell you what the limited quantity is because maybe they'll print 6,000 units. They sell 5,000 and go out of print. Then six months later, they go, hey, We've got another limited edition run, um, and now it's that disc is now twenty or thirty dollars more than what it was the first time out. This happens with uh, toy companies, uh, collector figures, collectors figures companies a lot as well. Again, won't name names, but it happens in that community a lot as well. Um, so any time, and again, whether it be a Blu-ray, a CD, a, a, a figure, a collectible of any kind that's a limited run, it's playing on our nostalgia, 
it guarantees you're going to overpay for it if you're lucky enough to be there when the pre-orders go live or you're dealing with a scalper on eBay who's pay, who, who is got it listed for an outrageously inflated price, or you're just stuck with nothing. And the fans don't benefit ultimately from limited edition runs. And sometimes all a company can do is a limited edition run. I understand. That's fine. But when a company can do more than a limited edition run, they should. Uh, their, um, their product numbers should meet the demand. And when the product numbers don't meet the demand, which happens in most instances, it's us, the fans, who suffer because of it. And um, that sucks <laughs> from a fan point of view. There's been a lot of limited edition Blu-rays that I would have liked to have gotten my hands on. But again, I wasn't awake at three o'clock on the morning three o'clock in the morning on Wednesday morning to get that pre order. Or maybe I was like, well you know what? I just don't want to pay forty or fifty dollars for this movie. Um, I'll stick with my old D V D of it or, you know, I'll just whatever. You know, I just will we'll just not have it. Um and ultimately that hurts the fan. The company's benefit, the scalpers benefit the fans suffer and that's sort of my summation when it comes to limited edition uh, blu-rays or limited edition really anything that anything collectible that plays on nostalgia uh, but yeah uh, if you didn't see the Rambo Rat video in the OCP communications video go check them out they were both great videos um, let me know what you guys think of the limited edition craze in the comment section um, below um, but yeah, uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up. Uh, take care and until next time, peace. <laughs>